as people spawn trapping. Let's see what we can do. Leaving safe room. Oh! Exiting safe room. Two. And that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. This build stops people from cramping doors. It destroys. Absolutely deletes. Is there any more in the map? There must be. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't see the other guy. There's a big reason you want to use it at the door. He can't see you on the way out. Ah, oh, he died. Never mind. Well, that's the manhunt gone. Let's jump into the build. What is going on, you beautiful people? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, this is a weapon build or a build video. And this is door campers deleted. There's a big reason for this. And it's because they can't see you for the first three seconds when you walk out the door. I don't know if this is an exploit. I'm not too sure. But I've seen this and it works like an absolute treat. So without further ado, let me talk to you and let me tell you what it is. So you're going to need the technician specialization. The reason for that is because you can get the Artificer Hive, which is this one. It doesn't say that it gives you a, a delay when you come out the checkpoint. But for some crazy reason, if you've got this equipped... You can walk out the door, walk behind the people that are camping the door, and they will not see you, meaning you can then pull out the build that we've got paired below, which does insane damage and insanely quick. You can literally run out, blitz someone. If you get killed, well, it is what it is. Run out, blitz another one, blitz another one. You could do all four before they've even respawned. It is an absolute joke, this build. So let's go over the build anyway. So I am running the Vector SBR 9mm, my favourite gun, but the main reason is for the RPM. You can see the RPM on this is 1,380, standard at 1,200, but it's got a huge mag at 53 rounds. The reason it's 1,380 is because we've got the Strikers, but we go over that in a moment. Uh, then we've got Sadist on it. So Sadist deals 20% damage to bleeding enemies. How do we get them bleeding? Well, then we put the Ridgeway's Pride chest piece on. The Ridgeway's Pride is shooting an enemy within 15 meters, applies bleed to a target. So when you're coming out of a checkpoint yet again, you're within 15 meters of everyone. So you're always going to proc the Sadist for the 20% weapon damage, providing they don't have bleed resist. Then... You've got the backpack here, which is the Sokolov. Yes, it gives you 10% SMG damage. Yes, obviously, I've got weapon damage on it. But it's got the talent I've put on it, which is wicked. Applying a status effect, increased total weapon damage by 18%. So a bleed is a status effect. So you've got the bleed, 18% here, plus the 20% here. You've got 38% extra weapon damage right there alone. Obviously, I've got damage to target out of covers, and I've got it expertise 10. Remember, I'm rank. 313 SHD. For me to be able to hit damage like this, it's unheard of. Anyway, going on to the striker build. So we've got the weapon handling rate of fire for the free piece. Uh, and then we've got the striker's gamble weapon hits increased total weapon damage by a 0.65 stacking up to 100 times. Now, I've got a 53 round mag. I'm probably going to hit about 30 of them shots. So 30 of them shots, let's just say uh, we're getting that up to about 20, 25% extra weapon damage just by... Going out, standing behind someone, absolutely blitzing them. Remember, if, you, if they're standing still because they're clapping their hands or they're standing still just because they're waiting for you to come out and they haven't seen you, you're going to get that max stack. So you, you get between 30 to 40% weapon damage in your first mag shooting them, which is an absolute joke. So you've got the Sadist, you've got the Wicked, you've got the Bleed, which also does cause damage, the Bleed, but it gives you also repair, so it gives you a bit more sustainability if someone else is shooting you. It gives you just that that just right amount of repair 
for you to be able to take out one, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four. It depends on how sweaty that team is. Because you probably do know when you walk in the dark zone, there's some sweaty teams. Anyway, so the, we have got armor on this. I'm actually going to roll it for, for damage. I, I haven't been farming at all. I've just been trying to mi mix up uh, builds. So I haven't got the resources to be able to change things at the moment. But that will be weapon damage. So we do even more damage. I've got create damage twice on this. Uh, then on the chest piece, we've got weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage, and the crit damage mod as well. Then we've got the striker's holster, which has got weapon damage and status effects. I will be changing the status effect for crit hit damage. Then I've got the knee pads, which got weapon damage, crit chance. I'll be changing the crit chance to crit damage as well. And then I've got the gloves, which weapon damage, crit chance. I'll be changing that to crit damage. The reason I haven't changed them to crit damage right now, as you can see, my crit chance is at 58.9. On my weapon, I'm still missing... An, extra, an additional 2% crit chance, which then would take it over the 60%. But then you'd think, but then if you do change off this 6% for 12% crit damage, then you just bring yourself back down to 54 point something. Well, that's not going to happen because once your shade level is high enough, you'll have the additional 10% crit chance. As you can see, I'm only getting 2.6% out of this. So I've, I'm missing uh, just under 8% from this. So rolling off, let's just say... This crit chance, that crit chance for crit hit damage. And then when I've got that maxed out on crit hit chance, I'll have max crit hit chance on my build. And then I can put even more crit hit damage. So we get 12, 24, 36 crit hit damage. Then obviously our mods will be maxed out. So 36 plus the watch level crit hit damage, which is this one, which is an additional 20%. We get 56 additional crit hit damage on this build with max crit hit chance. So we'll be hitting 140 to 150 crit hit damage. That is going to be a joke. If you've seen the damage I'm doing to people already, remember their shade levels a joke. Their builds are maxed out. If you are shade level 1000, put this build on and just test it for yourselves and see how quick it deletes. Because I can only delete to my extent because I, can't, I haven't got everything maxed out. But if you do have everything maxed out, this build is on a whole nother level. Remember the most important thing if you're coming out of the doors is to have the Artificer Hive. And that is so they cannot see you when you come out the door for three seconds. So it gives you that perfect opportunity as a solo. Because you shouldn't really be going out as a team. But let's just say you're a team and you're getting rolled by a team. They're door camping and you, you can't all get out because they're doing something. Well, all chuck this build on. All run out, blitz them. When you're out of combat, switch back to your actual build so you can then sustain yourselves. And you're absolutely laughing. The build is an absolute joke. Anyway, guys, for the secondary, I've got the Lady Death. This is just in case someone's running. You switch to it because at each stack uh, gives you 75% weapon damage. So if someone's running away from you, but you need to be moving to obviously build up this stack. You pull out the Lady Death. You run down. You shoot them. You, once you've got them stacked, you'll delete them yet again because it's got over 1,000 RPM because the striker build. Uh, and then the sidearm that I've got is a backup boom sip, mainly because it's got the close and personal. So killing a target within 7 meters grants 30% weapon damage. So if they're on their knees, pull out the shotgun, pop them, switch back to your main. You've got an extra 30% weapon damage. That depends how quick you are. I haven't really mastered doing that yet. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like, follow, comment, subscribe, and here's some Dark Zone cash unboxing. That's the build. Keeping it short and sweet. We're going to quickly go open up all these Dark Zone proficiency casters. Just see if we get anything pretty good. Nothing there. Nope. We're looking for them god rolls. No god rolls yet. Gen knee pads. That's what I'm looking for, guys. They are a bummer to get. There's a pretty good holster there, though. <laughs> Max God roll. Let's have a look to see what that is after we've opened these last two. Holster. What was it? Sockle of Concern. Crit hit chance. Crit hit damage. All maxed out. That is a God roll.